This week on Dancing with the Stars is Disney night. And for the first time this season, we have the team dances. How's it going guys? It's Eric Sharkey, aka the Dance with Stars super fan back with another video. And today, we'll be recapping Disney night as our remaining eight couples dance the soundtrack music from Disney films. Also, if you guys like this video, or if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and smash that like button, and ring that bell to get notified for more Dancing with the Stars content from my channel. I just went to Disney World six months ago because it was my 10 year anniversary of my senior trip to Disney when I was a senior in high school, and I had a blast reliving those memories that I had with all of my friends. Here's a picture of me taking a selfie when I was at the Magic Kingdom on Main Street during my last night at Disney. The Disney hotel that I stayed at was Disney's Contemporary Resort, which is of course walking distance from the Magic Kingdom. First up is Steven and Riley dancing the Charleston to A Star Is Born from the Disney movie Hercules. Carrie Ann said it was a fantastic way to kick off the night, but he was a bit off at times. Derek agreed with Carrie Ann because Derek also mentioned he was ahead of the music. Even though he lost a bit of timing and he was ahead of the music at times, it was a good dance to kick off Disney night. He hit all the moves, however, all three of the judges want him to work on his timing. For their Charleston, they receive all 8s from the judges, giving them a 24 out of 30. Next up is Jen and Sasha dancing the rumba to Kiss the Girl from the Disney movie The Little Mermaid. Derek noticed her confidence has improved. Bruno said he loved the gentle flow in that dance, but she lost a bit of balance in that dance. And even though Carrie Ann noticed some tiny issues in that dance, she said it was her best dance by far. Although the judges noticed some tiny issues in that dance, it was still another great dance from them. It was elegant, and I loved how they were able to portray the kiss the girl scene. When Jen was a teenager, she got an autograph from Ariel. For the rumba, they received all eights from the judges, giving them a 24 out of 30. Next up is Joey and Jenna dancing the samba to Trash in the Camp from the Disney movie Tarzan. Carrie Ann loved how he played into character in that dance, but his steps were too big at times, and Derek wants him to work on his arms, but other than that, he liked the dance. It definitely had a lot of samba content in that dance, which is great, and even though there were some tiny issues in that samba, it was still another great dance from the both of them, especially the first couple to ever do a samba this season. For their samba, they received 8s from Carrie Ann and Derek, and a 9 from Bruno giving them a 25 out of 30. Next up is Chandler and Brandon dancing the Paso Doble to We Own the Night from one of her movies, Zombies 2. Carrie Ann said it was passionate and a powerful performance. Derek said it was fierce, strong, and confident, and Bruno loved the artistry in that dance. The reason why the judges gave her criticism last week is because the judges knew that she had potential, but this week, she took the judges' advice and she nailed that Paso Doble. We got to see her co-stars Meg Donnelly and season 27 contestant Milo Mannheim, which he is of course one of my favorite male stars from Dancing with the Stars. For their Paso Doble, they receive all 9s from the judges, giving them a 27 out of 30. Next up is Phaedra and Val dancing jazz to Krilla DeVille from the Disney movie 101 Dalmatians. Derek said that dance was delightful, but both Derek and Bruno don't want her to anticipate her partner. And Carrie Ann said she wants her to exaggerate the movements because some of her moves were small. I did like some parts in that dance, but unfortunately, I felt like the dance sometimes was a bit off. For their jazz routine, they received all eights from the judges, giving them a 24 out of 30. Next up is Danny and Whitney dancing jazz to Bye 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 by InSync from the Disney movie Deadpool and Wolverine. Even though this movie was produced by Marvel Studios, this movie was acquired by Disney. Bruno loved how he incorporated the moves in that dance, and Carrie Ann and Derek were really impressed. While I was watching their dance, I felt like I was watching a fight scene from that movie. The dance moves were impressive, and I can see that Danny has been improving. He came from a potential underdog to now officially becoming a Dancing with the Stars contender. For their jazz routine, they receive all nines from the judges, giving them a 27 out of 30. Next up is Dwight and Daniela dancing the tango to When Can I See You Again from the Disney movie Wreck-It Ralph. Carrie noticed his frame was good, but she noticed some mistakes. 
Derek also liked the frame and Bruno said he didn't wreck the tango. Because of the height difference that the judges mentioned, Dwight was able to prove to everyone even though he is 6 foot 10, he has shown everyone that he can dance and this was indeed a slight improvement compared to last week. For their tango, they received all 8s from the judges, giving them a 24 out of 30. And last up is Alona and Alan dancing jazz to Surface Pressure from the Disney movie Encanto. Derek said he loved how the dance was so relatable, Bruno loved her determination, however both of them want her to dance a bit more. I have to say Alan did a really good job dancing even though he was wearing a donkey mask. And I also loved how Alona was able to make this dance so relatable because she often promotes body positivity and I can see her confidence has been growing week by week. For their jazz routine, they received one 9 from Carrie Ann and 8 from Derek and Bruno, giving them a 25 out of 30. Now that we got to the dances, let's get right into the team dance round. It's Team Goofs versus Team Roar. Chandler and Brandon, Alona and Alan, Jen and Sasha and Joey and Jenna were Team Goofs, while Danny and Whitney, Dwight and Daniela, Phaedra and Val, and Steven and Riley were Team Roar. Alona and Dwight were the team captains. First up is Team Roar dancing freestyle to I Just Can't Wait to Be King from The Lion King, where they will receive all 8s from the judges, giving them a 24 out of 30. And last up is Team Goofs dancing freestyle to Eye to Eye from a Goofy movie, one of my favorite Disney movies, where they receive all 9s from the judges, giving them a 27 out of 30. I gotta say both teams did a really good job, but without any hesitation, I don't like Team Goofs. I love Team Goofs because that dance had a lot of great moves, it was high energy, and it was a lot of fun. Even though Chandler and Brandon and Danny and Whitney had the highest score from their individual dance, since Chandler and Brandon had the highest scores out of the couples throughout the season, they were granted immunity and don't have to compete in the dance-off next week. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard, which includes their scores from their dance and the team dance round combined. At the top of the leaderboard are Chandler and Brandon with 54 points, Alona and Alan, Joey and Jenna tied with 52 points, Danny and Whitney and Jen and Sasha tied with 51 points, and a three-way tie at the bottom with 48 points are Dwight and Daniela, Phaedra and Val, and Steven and Riley. Now let's reveal the couples who are safe and who is going home. Chandler and Brandon, Alona and Alan, Danny and Whitney, Joey and Jenna, and Dwight and Daniela are safe while Jen and Sasha, Phaedra and Val, and Steven and Riley were in jeopardy. Phaedra and Val were eliminated while the other two couples in jeopardy are safe and moving on to next week. There are some things that I want to talk about regarding Phaedra's time on Dancing with the Stars. I felt like sometimes Phaedra wasn't dancing as much and I felt like the judges were favoring her sometimes. But other than that, I liked her personality and she indeed had a good run. So next week on Dancing with the Stars will be Halloween Nightmares Night as our seven remaining couples will do some Halloween dances. With the exception of Chandler and Brandon since they got immunity, the other six couples will compete in the dance-off next week. So be sure to tune into that. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey, aka the Dance with the Stars Superfan. Catch you next time.